Let me say that Kenya is indeed very privileged to host this regional consultation in the Greater Horn of Africa on uh, climate change uh, displacement. I am very pleased by, by this meeting particularly of, of the Nansen Initiative that, that tries to bring us together. First of all, bring the thinkers, uh, then bring the, the, the implementers and, and bring us the policy makers together. Having been Ambassador of Switzerland to Kenya from 2006 and 2010, it's a particular pleasure to be back in Nairobi to open this important event hosted by the government of Kenya. In our country, we have two of the world's largest refugee uh, camps, that is Kakuma and Dadab. And we have experienced the negative impacts of not being prepared to host displaced persons. Uh, it is very important to draw lessons from other regions of the world on what has been done uh, with respect to hosting displaced populations. Because by drawing these lessons, we'll be able to plan better and prepare ourselves better. Not because we say we are happy to have uh, these natural hazards occurring, but they are hazards which we cannot control. We're also talking about a region that whose, whose poverty levels are quite high. And of course, that then increases uh, vulnerabilities when disasters happen. Uh, the Horn of Africa is one of the regions in the world which has seen the largest number of people uh, moving either inside their, their country or outside their country as a result of uh, a number of reasons, but uh, uh, which include uh, climate change and which include uh, natural disasters. First, we're talking about displacement in the context of disasters, mainly drought, in situations uh, where conflict also plays a role. Second, we are talking about traditional patterns of adapting to uh, drought and other environmental um, hazards. Uh, traditional patterns meaning traditional ways pastoralists have to move across borders to find uh, la uh, water, uh, grazing land, uh, and then the third issue, this is a region with a large number of irregular migrants. And um, there should be better ways how we can uh, allow people to move in regular ways uh, to adapt uh, to the uh, challenges of climate change. In my country, the, the movement, particularly by pastoralists, is extremely critical. So what must we do? We must make sure the water points are either protected so that they have access to water points. We must also make sure that the areas where they access pasture, because in most cases that is going to be areas of contestation, must also be availed to them so that they can discharge their economic activities. We have adopted the community managed disaster risk reduction so that the communities can plan and own some of these activities as well as participating fully in them. In uh, 2011, we saw an influx of about 200,000 people from Somalia. It was of course linked to the security situation in, in Somalia, but it was also very much linked to, uh, to the drought, which resulted in a, in a, in a famine. So to have uh, uh, countries in the region coming together, discussing the implications of this kind of movements, both inside but more importantly outside, because that's a dimension which has not uh, yet been, uh, been uh, discussed sufficiently, is, is, an ex is extremely important. So to me, my very, very quick uh, prayer, and, and that we must work together, together with the international community, is to build the capacity of the fragile states first to reconstitute themselves so that they are strong states. Every nation and every stakeholders has got their own role to play to solve this problem amicably. The war with terrorism goes on, displacement in Somalia will continue, and the only way to 
to eliminate the terrorism activities or reduce them is to get the young men, give them life <coughs> and hope <coughs> and future. The government of South Sudan, ladies and gentlemen, is committed to gather with the government in the regions in combating national hazard, climate change, and cross-border displacement. The Nansen Initiative and its approach, I believe, offers a positive alternative as it's collaborative and it's bottoms up and based on good practices adopted globally and working regionally and countrywise. This is a very unique forum. Why is it unique? I was here during the opening and I'm now here and we are all here. And that shows the importance that we are attributing to this particular protection agenda initiative. I want therefore to thank the Nansen Initiative for creating an environment and a platform that has brought us together as members of this human family to discuss this challenge. And I really think that, that this exchange of ideas and, and good practice between countries within this region, but also between regions, between this region and our region in the Nordic countries, but also between regions in the Americas uh, and, and also in Asia. They invited interested and relevant parties to follow up on the results of the consultation and express the hope that these efforts will help to better manage cross-border movements of people in the context of disaster and the effects of climate change, but also to alleviate the plight of suffering of affected persons and ensure the respect and full re realization of their rights. Thank you very much. <laughs>